Yo, welcome to the podcast, Nando Podcast Inside the Store, Culture Talk, Pedro Songs. Yeah, nice to be here. Thanks for having me as always. <laughs> yeah, this is not the first time. Yeah. Like, we had you before. Yeah. When we were trying out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to have you back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, I remember I was saying you should, you should come on and then you were like, you mm. want to have something to come talk about. True. Yeah, there's True. music out. You've produced like a lot of songs. Yeah. And then you have your own songs out yeah. too. Like for the past few days, I was like, I'm going to have you. So I've been listening to a lot of your songs. Okay. Like from your previous work. Okay. Up until the most recent, recent one that mm-hmm. you put out. Mm-hmm. Like, so um, listen to the song. Most of the songs like you do, mm-hmm. you actually produce them. Yeah. So I've been wondering, like, how do you like come up with those sounds? Because your song, your sound is is uh, is different, <laughs> okay. like in a way. So I've been wondering, like, how do you create those sounds? Okay. Do you use like a different software from every <laughs> other person, or I don't know? Y- yourself, you're a producer, mixer, everything, you're everything. Now, nah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just on the side. Yeah. I'm just on the side. Well, I think production for me is no, it's not really about the software. Are just tools. Mm. So it's just about expressing your own, your own melodies. Mm. So it's not specific, you know, to any software per se. And it's been, I think, my sound has been shaped by what. Uh, I've I've listened to over the years wow. the songs I, I I I fell in love with that made me fall in love with music in the first place. Yeah. So over time, you know, you know that was why. So when I came the first time, I told you that my journey has been about trying to understand my sound. That yeah. was why I was not really. I can't say I did the right thing though. I was not putting out music much because. Yeah. I was I feel I felt my sound was all over the place. I wasn't able to pin down exactly the sound I wanted so uh, um, like uh, I always want to ask producers and yeah. producers actually sing yeah you produce you sing mm. which one do you prefer like okay. do you prefer like producing mm. the music mm. or you prefer like singing Sing. which one do you prefer the most for me, I, I I love all the processes. Wow. That's why, you know, I, apart from producing my own music, I also produce for other people. Yeah, I mix for other people, even songs yeah. that I do not even produce. I, I was going to ask, <laughs> do you, <laughs> yeah, do you actually prefer producing for yourself or like producing for other people? Both, but I don't also I don't always produce for myself too. Oh, okay. People actually produce for you too. Mm. Wow. I just want to be in the music you space. You do mm-hmm. everything. <laughs> but I, like I've met mm-hmm. some producers, they be like, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. they love it when they produce their own song because mm-hmm. they can actually interpret True. easily. True. True. So you see other mm-hmm. like artists be like, wow, this guy when he produced for himself mm-hmm. is so different. He's dope, boy. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the like we, we hear that a lot, but then... Mm-hmm. All the time when that comes up, mm. I'll be like, okay, mm. this guy is trying to express for himself, so it's easier for him it's to easier. interpret it into sounds and it's stuffs. Yeah, so you've put out like a lot of songs, including like a body. Yeah. Yeah. There was, um, there was um, one of the songs like I've heard on one of the um, previous project, which you have like a lot of artists on the project. Yeah. You have like, Black House, yeah. you have, there's a choir. Mm. There's stash, there's so many people on the project, like mm. the, it's so vast. Okay. Like that compilation is so vast. So I've been thinking, you even have prowess on one of the songs. Yeah, I do. So I, I'm like, when did you do those songs? Like it sounds like different time. Okay. But then it could actually fit into a compilation. Mm-hmm. Those songs were, I think we just put out about five songs, but the songs uh, we did about, I think, 12. Oh. Only five made it to the project. Uh, it was, I think the project happened in like two months. Wow. Mm. Wow. So, 
basically that project for me was was one of the most best moments i ever had because when we started it i just had a dream about it mm. and when we reached out to people the love for music in bachi is unbelievable wow people just came supported it wasn't about paying people it was mm. just for the love of the music and the, the music. genuity of yeah. what we were bringing it was it seems people loved the stories that mm. we told so it was just magic that's all i can say i don't oh. even know how it happened i, I was just part of the team <laughs> yeah 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 of course you are at the center of everything <laughs> <laughs> you are at the center of everything yeah. so um i see um i had like um um elna elna star yeah and then we talk a lot like about music some of it we don't we don't actually talk while we were yeah, recording but she yeah. said like she spoke so highly of you and how you've actually like supported her okay. and then how you've actually impacted a lot in her process and her journey so far like how um how is it um for you to like um be an like an artist and a producer and then you have like a responsibility to mentor somebody that is actually uh working with you because obviously it's not that easy to have like uh like somebody that you have to look out for and to make sure the person gets it right and then i don't know man it's so hard <laughs> it's hard it's well i think it's part of the process because none of us came on we didn't just happen we were also mentored Mm. for me for me uh, you know when we started you know the internet was even there yeah at that time so it was about this guy who was into production so uh, for me concept man was one of the people that mentored me a little mm. uh, and so many other people so mm, trying to help people discover themselves yeah this is an opportunity that i can't throw away it oh. is it is not everybody that will have the opportunity to to even look up to you hmm. for you to help them so i take you very seriously for those that i can you know so elna has been one of many actually and 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 the last time i was like when is she going to put out like a project hmm. and she was like soon i was like that it be sooner than soon <laughs> <laughs> and then boom before hmm. i realize it there's a project out yeah. i'm like wow Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys actually like got to work and her project was fire. It was it was like incredible like within this I don't know what maybe she's been working but mm-hmm. then within that like time, time man she came alive. Wow. There's a song that she has like um one of the songs she in French. C'est mm-hmm. ça. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really understand everything but I love French. So the song just got me i used to play like every morning wow yeah so you guys actually did a great job and then she has like a visual yeah out too yeah and then there's you in the visuals yeah i'm trying to understand the story of the song <laughs> like and the visual i don't quite get it music is just spiritual you know that is very <laughs> spiritual <laughs> <laughs> music is spiritual i can't tell you like i can't say that we pushed all i know is we You know the song is an old song especially the one with the video oh. stand by me we okay. did it maybe like three years ago so we put it out that time mm. you know and we'll put it out again this time this year so someone had it actually pk had it oh okay he reached out and he was like yo he likes the song why don't we try to make a visual I was like, oh, okay oh okay that's what <laughs> actually happened wow that's <laughs> and nice. he, he he did everything we kudos to you guys and mm-hmm. is, um, so apart from elna is there any other like artists that you guys you're actually working with closely like that yeah i've been working with um, well, i would say the northern empire gang no oh, mm-hmm. okay we've been working there's a project that we're going to put out next month oh it com- it has a lot of people and it's might be oh Uh, black house uh, 
which is hmm. I think we are maybe up to 10 fire mm-hmm. yeah. that's produced by Shambi wow well, Shambi is on fire sick. <laughs> Shambi is on fire yeah. sick too man yeah. yeah I love the energy yeah. putting out like uh, um a lot of work mm-hmm. like lately and mm-hmm. then I think that's what we need yeah right now It's more music more music more music mm-hmm. and actually you guys actually uh doing a whole lot yeah because we all complain about wanting to grow yeah. wanting to be where where we where where we want to be mm-hmm. but then it's not always about talking True. talking is about actually putting out work so that people can actually see yeah and then people understand that um, these guys are actually putting out work and I must commend your effort like the whole the whole empire because it's like it's like um what 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 do I call it now it's like a whole movement that yeah. is erupting out Unknown of nowhere self. yeah you can't even that. put a name to it but yeah <laughs> so i think consistency is the key to True. to True. all these things True. like mm-hmm. slow slow and slow but mm-hmm. steady and like the longevity is what we should trust true so what is in stock like uh i know you're always making music mm-hmm. but then there's always like um, a strategic move to everything true so when is when are you putting out when are you doing a concert when are you touring when are you mm-hmm. like um doing every other thing mm-hmm. that is around the music uh, creation process Okay. Well, after we I think in September we'll put out one project, the one I just talked about. Mm. So, put it out, push it out, then after that, I'm going to put out my own project too. Wow. And I'm hoping to put out like three projects from now, from now to the end of the year. Oh. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. We have a lot to <laughs> There's a lot of music. You remember we talked about this other you, you yeah. called me and you were like I have a lot of songs on Grade. Yeah. So I want to put out some of the work out and we're always making new music too. And I have I want to work with a lot of people. Mm. You know, a lot of people that uh, have, have shaped me like you POC station. I want to put out a particular project I'm passionate about. You understand? So I think time is even not enough, right? <laughs> yeah, I think you're living up to your promises yeah. because I remember when you were going to make like a big comeback, yeah. you put out a song, yeah. and then you were like apologizing to everybody yeah. for neglect. Yeah, and trying to discover yourself and mm-hmm. stuff. And that song is fire, by the way. Okay, thank I you. I remember we used to play like every day okay. here wow. at the store, and then. Uh, guys be like who is this guy who is this guy that is saying <laughs> sorry to everybody <laughs> i'm like is 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 don't be they like oh don't be mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm like yeah don't be but they call him pedro songs now <laughs> and they be like wow and a lot of people are like where have you been where have you been yeah I'll just be like listen to the song. To <laughs> <laughs> explain yeah, everything. To, yeah. So actually that's a wonderful comeback and then thank you. You have done so well by keeping on like keep on putting on songs and then even if it's not your own song you're producing for somebody you're actually mixing here and there. So it's good. Thank you. But if you thought like oh, of like expanding to oh, because you yeah, like production skills to sh- other craft like movies yeah i think in fact most happiest moments would be if i make movies cause wow and that's part of my plan because a movie cause takes a particular time yeah you have to longer time longer time you have to make the name you have to mm. so but movies cause would be my end game seriously because that's where very creative music comes for me yeah yeah, yeah. because uh, um, that. Mm. I was having a, um, a discussion with somebody that's actually into um, movies okay yeah and he was like 
yeah they they need they need like hands mm. they need a lot of uh, like creative hands in their okay in their industry and then he feels like there's a lot of people that are actually into like the music industry that are so good and they need to extend hands to them true to support them because they don't really have like um most producers just focus on like producing for artists like artists and then they make music but then they can actually produce like songs like um soundtrack they call them mm, soundtrack movie scores yeah all those mm, yeah. stuffs and then like get their mm. the audios of their their the movies and then mix it and all those stuffs like they need people to actually invest into mm. what they're doing like just to get like a better like quality for the work they are doing how about like um um like a concert like a concert i've been thought about that because obviously things will get back to normal true like um it's already getting back to normal <laughs> we're getting used to it because <laughs> we're just i think we are we are tired <laughs> we are tired of the whole like situation yeah yeah so but has as actually situation affected your your process like in what way has it it has actually affected obviously but in what way what i did for me is i i made use of this situation mm. it seemed we first the first two months was no restrictions and all yeah that, so. a lot of restrictions yeah. so i just used you know every in every bad situation there's always no good so I, that was when i used the time to in fact to me 2020 is one of my best years wow so because i got time to to really work with less distractions from other things yeah yeah so the effect for me is positive i try i made it positive mm. you know, i didn't stay and say oh my life is over my life just started yeah. this year because of yeah i the, like that mm. So but, uh, but you talked about the concert too. We're having plans. Uh, I have my my brother who is a sound engineer. Mm. Uh, he we are working. We're trying to see how we can make a live show. Mm. Wow. Um, wow. Something that is different that we can stream live. So that these things have to be properly planned and Yeah, of course. So we're going to, we're going to do that here in the hive. We're going to start with a small group of people musically inclined and yeah. We see how it goes. If there is anything I would, I would, I would, I would want <laughs> that that <movement> was meant <laughs> is to have like a, a show, like yeah. Because I I I noticed over the years mm. when you make music and then people actually love the music, mm. they want to see, they want to see you perform the music, like it's it's a different feeling True. from just listening to the song to see you like perform the music True. so True. i think it makes it complete for the audience yeah yeah so i think that's why like performing is also very very important and keeps like uh, like wonderful memories True. like people when they go back to listening to the song especially when there's no video for the song yeah the picture they have keeps from the up. performance like that is what it is how about like having um if you thought about like having like a concert where everybody that is involved in some form of entertainment can actually can actually come together and then we'll have like a week like a festival or something for a week where all art will actually be, be performed like for one week we should just have it like i'm having dreams about stuff like that we have you now. <laughs> <laughs> we i'm have having you. dreams <laughs> because there's yeah. there's so much and then there's a lot of things that's actually um dying off because people don't like get to reconnect again True. because this is actually something that can spark a lot of like sleeping potential true so but if we can actually create like a, a platform where 
everybody that is involved in some kind of way mm. can actually come and then people that are into movie um uh, movies you can have like a stage play mm. or stuff like that mm. we can have like uh, recently i see there's a lot of people that are actually into spoken word they, yeah they had like a competition recently. actually missed that uh, oh, i was wasn't around boy it was it well. was swell yeah yeah so yeah. like the creative industry actually needs like more platforms from the ones that are actually existing so i think we should we should talk we'll, we'll after talk. <laughs> after this we'll talk obviously we we'll talk That's about this man we will. because we will. We will. man we need to do something else true like from the usual so yeah. it's true this true. our conversation it it never gets finish <laughs> it never gets yeah. never get finished we always have like a lot to talk about and you know one funny thing not just a lot of people are thinking towards that mm. so i think if i think i talked with stash and he was he bought the idea we talked about something like that you see so everybody's having it in mind so if we just we need to like clip yeah like yeah. click and then everything, yeah. Yeah, everything will pop. Yeah. because um i think um bmf one or two shows that around it's not enough like you can we can't just say we have to wait for the year to come around yeah so we can have like a show now it's uh it's a stuff that we need like every once in a while True. like every month we have like one event every month we have like one event like it's it's good mm-hmm. people have places to go people mm-hmm. Pe- connect new, new people will emerge like True. yeah so True. we need to bring back everything actually like, bia is becoming very big or you, until you go out hmm. then you you <laughs> like <laughs> i've not been out for some time yeah uh, usually i don't know for i know northeast yeah it's music is, mad. is, is actually listen cool. to be hype they know be hype artists a lot they listen to all the music they always like there's a lot of good music that is coming out a lot from this side a lot. A lot. and i love the fact that so many of our artists are open to like collaborations and yes. that's good people need to like work together yeah. like working together actually helps expand so say yeah so Beskia, thank you for always coming around like i don't even know what to say <laughs> yeah you just talk now nah. <laughs> are you there you've always been my guy no there's no move i don't make serious that you, you know we come we sit so the journey has been about holding hands yeah pull me up yeah and so I, i'll be the one to thank you for the opportunity yeah. for what you, you've this been is, doing this is this is a much needed conversation man yeah so thank you for coming culture talk and new podcast inside the store pedro songs thanks for having me <laughs>